Hey YouTubers, I thought I'd do a video of my 600pp for Tokyo. So I purchased this, it's currently on the um, Elite cars. I think they've got limited stock, it's about 9 million. Normally I use my Jaguar to do this and I can get it done in about 26 minutes, but I tried it with a Ferrari and I'll show you the specs and I'll show you exactly what I did and you could probably get away without pitting. So here come the specs. So grab Sports Hard and Comfort Hard because you'll need both. Uh, strangely enough, uh, the power restrictor you won't use, but you use the ballast, so get that. You can't get much here anyway. Um, the crankshaft, the medium RPM turbo, the LSD, do the body rigidity, and um, on the next page, I think we've got the stroke up, and I think the racing silencer I purchased as well. That was already purchased, the racing hard, but just get the fully custom or transmission, but I didn't do anything to it, and also the connection rods and pistons. Um, you can see it's at 59977, comfort hard on the front, sports hard on the rear, it's a rear driven car, you won't have to change tyres, you won't even feel the wear and tear at all. Uh, you can see the specs all there, I've uh, got the ballast at 100 and minus 1, and everything else is pretty much as it is, I didn't, I didn't change anything. Now you've got the medium RPM over there, um, you can see the stroke up and everything on the right hand side, so that's pretty much all you do and you'll get them down to 59977. Now I can't do HD video on my computer, so I just took some screenshots. Okay, so at the start of the race, uh, put it on fuel mix once you'll get to about second position. You can see he's in front of me there. These are just going to be screenshots. Um, in position two on lap two, I keep position two right till about lap four or five when he pits. I have it on fuel mix six, but I didn't put it on fuel mix six till the end of lap one. Now if I had put it at the beginning of lap one, once I got to the first turn, I probably would have got all 12 laps out of it. But uh, instead I had to pit on lap 11. So you can see on lap 10, still got plenty of fuel. Um, I'm position one by now because they've all pitted. And um, just down at the bottom there, lap 11, you can see there's hardly any fuel there. And I'm um, still doing good times. And there you go, I pitted on lap 11. And then um, I do this one lap on fuel mix one. And the race is done in about 27 minutes. It's a pretty easy race. But like I said, if you switch to fuel mix six, as soon as you get uh, past the straight, stick around position two you'll be fine and I reckon you can get all 12 laps out of it so the other thing you can do is you can leave it on fuel mix one all the way you will hit the lead from the very beginning and then stay there the whole race pit on lap six and then fill your tank up and do the other six laps the only thing is you probably will catch up to the last two or three stragglers in the race even if you do bump into them a little bit you shouldn't lose your clean race bonus because you're bumping into them on a lap Either way, it works out kind of the same, but I think the best time I've ever done in the Jaguar is about 26 minutes and about 5 seconds, and that's a pretty good uh, 825k race, so you can kind of do that twice in an hour and have 1.6, 1.7k. So probably the most important thing is to remember is not to change your tyres, because if you do choose tyre change, they will put comfort hard on the back as well, and then you'll have troubles trying to control the car. Um, the whole the way you get this car to be better than the rest is by having the comfort hard on the front and the sports hard on the back for traction and wear and tear and that's why it's a it's an easy race so just be aware of that anyway um, other than that enjoy and uh, hope it works out for you